In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to extrude a shape as a solid in AutoCAD, rather than just its borders or as a surface. If you've ever found yourself puzzled by why your extrusions aren't turning out as expected, you're not alone. It's a common concern, but with just a few adjustments, you can ensure your shape is transformed into a solid as desired. Let's begin by taking a closer look at what's happening. Imagine you have a shape that, when extruded, only seems to expand along its edges, leaving you with a hollow or surface-like form. Your goal, of course, is to create a solid object. First, you'll need to change your approach slightly by converting your shape into a polyline. Why a polyline, you might ask? Well, polylines in AutoCAD provide the structure we need to extrude successfully into a solid form. Think of it as preparing your shape to become a complete unified entity rather than a series of connected lines. Here's how we do it. Start by selecting the shape you want to work on. Once it's selected, direct your attention to the command line and type the command join, then press enter. This step is crucial as it combines all the individual lines of your shape into one cohesive polyline. AutoCAD will take care of this for you quickly, transforming your selection into a solid foundation for extrusion. Now that your shape is a polyline, you can proceed with the extrusion process as you would typically. But if you find that it still doesn't extrude into a solid, there's likely a simple explanation. Your current extrusion mode might be set to surface rather than solid. Switching to solid mode is straightforward. Go back to the command line and type extrude, then hit enter. Within the options that appear, look for the mode option. This is where you can specify the nature of your extrusion. By selecting mode, you'll see several choices, but we are focused on creating a solid. Therefore, select solid. By choosing this, you're instructing AutoCAD to treat your shape as a three-dimensional solid during the extrusion process rather than defaulting to a surface. And there you have it. With these steps, your shape should now extrude into a solid form seamlessly. Remember, the key to successful extrusion in AutoCAD lies in ensuring your shape is a polyline and setting the mode to solid. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just getting started, mastering these little details can make all the difference in ensuring your designs come to life exactly as you envision them. Happy designing!